Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to get a legit Mayhem 10 backburner. Now, if you guys didn't know, I already did a review of this weapon, the backburner, but I was basically talking about how Agonizer's loot pool is bugged right now. So I found a legitimate way to actually get a backburner to drop on Mayhem 10, and I want to review it because this weapon is awesome. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Borderlands 3 videos. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Basically, like I said, Agonizer is basically bugged. Um, his loot pool, he actually doesn't have a loot pool, if you guys didn't know. He actually draws from Pain and Terror's loot pool. That's exactly where we are. We are all the way through the story at Pain and Terror. You can kill these guys one time throughout the story. However, you can get a save file and basically read-only farm this. If you're on console, there is a way to do this with cloud saves that I don't really know how to do it, but you will have to run all the way through the story. Now, Agonizer's loot pool will probably be fixed. However, there is a good chance they won't fix it until the next patch. So let's go ahead and kill Terror. Let's take out Pain. And as you guys can see, I think I see the back burner right here. Wow, so we got a 300 Mayhem 10 backburner. Uh, first try right on recording. That is sick. And basically, like I said, this is a way to get Mayhem 10 uh, loot drops. Even here's a dictator at Mayhem 10. Conference call. Chaos. Wow, we actually had some good loot drops. This is These are good anointments. Except for that one. But yeah. There we go. So we got our Mayhem 10 back burner. Let's take this over to somewhere else so I can show you guys how awesome this weapon is. And um, yeah, see you guys over there. Now, here we are. We have our Mayhem 10 back burner. Um, I actually love this weapon. I highly recommend trying to get one of these. Um, or if you want to wait until the patch when they will probably fix Agonizer's loot pool, that's fine too. Real quick, I do want to say if you are on PC, I will include a Pain and Terror save file in my Discord. So that way you can farm for this weapon. Um, and otherwise, let's just give this a go. Basically what you're looking for is around 35k damage on the weapon card. Um, we got accuracy and handling similar to RPGs, normal reload speed, normal fire rate. And um, I do have to say real quick, we only consume three ammo per shot. Um, it is actually not a bad RPG to be using. Now, as you guys can see, we shoot this giant orb at enemies and then it explodes up kind of like a Krakatoa or a uh, Jericho. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a Jericho crossed with an ion cannon. Um, and it almost feels that powerful. And as you guys can see, we are kind of just decimating enemies. I will say we are here on Athenus, so it's not that difficult. But um, this thing does some serious work. And I love, I love the, uh, like, what this weapon does. Like, the animation of it exploding up and around the enemies. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot Captain Tront one time. And see if we can actually one-shot him with this weapon. Um, I definitely think this weapon is underrated. However, probably because you can't get one on Mayhem 10. Oh, well, we ac accidentally one-shot ourselves, But that is okay because we also one-shot Trant. And as you guys can see, these, the power behind this thing. Now, I do want to mention I am using, like, splash damage, heavy wet, or AoE. Like, I do have a build uh, basically using this, but we are on Mayhem 10. And, um, yeah, basically the potential this gun has. Now, let's talk about how this thing fires real quick. You guys definitely have already seen the power of it, probably. So, basically, like I said, you shoot this orb. I kind of want to watch this in photo mode. And then it explodes up. Now, this is very similar to a Krakatoa, a Protuberance, or a Jericho. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a Jericho. I actually had people tell me that this does friendly fire in co-op mode. So you can go ahead and kill your friends and your enemies with this weapon. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to make this video real quick because we already reviewed this. This is a seriously, seriously awesome and powerful weapon. This is going to be great for mobbing and bossing. One other thing I should mention is this actually creates a singularity. If you guys see those orbs, those are singularities. So not only will this explode up and, uh, you know, pound these 
explosives down on the ground, but it will uh, pull enemies into there as well. So this can be used for a bit of crowd control on top of tons and tons of area damage. So yeah, that is pretty much my weapon review of this weapon. Um, as soon as you can get this thing on Mayhem 10, I suggest going for it. It is an awesome and powerful weapon. Be careful of the radius damage you will down yourself if you're too close. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Borderlands 3 videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.